Be black and gold, bust forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. That's right, y'all. We got another offensive lineman committed to ICU Buffaloes, and that's Michigan State's own tackle, Ethan Boyd, y'all. He is committed to ICU Buffaloes, and it's a good look because, like Coach Prime said, y'all, the protection commitment, that's what it's about right now. We just trying to make sure we get some dogs in here to make sure our quarterback should do it is fully protected. If one of our starters go down, we have a confident backup replacement that can go in here and get the job done. We want our number two guys. Technically, they could be our number one guys. And then we want our number three guys to be like our number two guys. That's how we want our depth chart to be. Because, yes, we got Jordan C. and Kalal Benson and Hank. But at the end of the day, if Justin Myers go down or, or anything, right, we need somebody to step in and step up to the plate. And this dude here is 6'7", 325 pounds, y'all. Like I said in my last video, we mixing Burger King, Checkers, and McDonald's together and coming out with the biggest beef patties we got in America right now because our offensive linemen are now averaging almost 6'4 and above. I mean, whoa, this dude here, 6'7", 325 pounds, and the fact that he's a junior with two years left on the books, y'all, so we could get him this year and then have him again next year, you know, just to solidify that offensive line because that's what it's about. Now, he played in 12 games and started three of those games last year for Michigan uh, Spartans. So, like I say, this is somebody who's seasoned, who been playing, who has you know what I mean? Got what it takes to come up here and, and make it do what it do, basically. Because we just need you to get in here and block, block, block. And not only that, he could run block because we already know we got Miami, Ohio running back coming up here. And not only that, we got other running backs that's in the building. We need to have a running game this year. Now, I know during the spring game, it was a lot of throwing the ball and we didn't have a true running back in the backfield. With that being said, we got an offensive line now that can get the job done. And we have some backup replacements that could get the job done. So, so we know we have overhauled the locker room tremendously on this offensive line. Now, we had 14 projected scholarships, right, for the offensive line. 11 of those dudes is no longer here pretty much. So, you know, we got Tyler and we got Hank. And uh, who else? Uh, no, I think those about the only two. That's around. <laughs> now that I think about it, and Tyler technically didn't play last year. So, yeah, man. Hey, we filling that void and we filling it fast, man. So, I'm excited about this. This is a good look. Um, This is something that we need, of course, making sure, like I say, solidifying this offensive line because that's what it's about. So, as we know, like we said, we got uh, Justin uh, Myers. We got Kalal Benson. You know, we got uh, Philip Houston, Tyler Johnson, Yakiri Wall. Walker, you know, all of those guys participated in the spring game. I mean, this offensive line is just coming together just how we thought it was going to be. And it's built around Jordan Seaton, you know. Let's just be honest here. Jordan Seaton was our five-star recruit from IMG. And now we got some dogs around him. And those dogs is going to protect Shadour this year. I can already see it. So I'm excited. Let's see how this summer go. Let's see if any be. I meant to say if it be any change ups and, you know, the starters that started in the spring going into the fall, which I really don't see, you know, any of those guys losing their positions. But uh, the number twos and the number threes, you know, it's going to be a lot of movement in that uh, department. But I'm, I'm excited, though. I'm very excited. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.